This is also a game. <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome. I'm being a muffin. Yes, you are. Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Subspace Emissary with Fishbill, Wahiti, and Z Man. Yeah. How Mario. dare you introduce us all? I will eat your soul now. <laughs> Pretty cargo. <laughs> Hello, Kirby. You are pink. Oh, um, yeah, Smash Bros. Uh, I love Smash Bros. <laughs> That's like, all you have to say game. about it. Who is Smash Bros? Look at that. It is very <laughs> smashy. Yeah, I wish they'd just add Geno already, though. Yeah, really. Or Mega Man. Or, Me or Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kick that plumber... But come on! <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know why I picked Kirby. I guess I'm just better with Kirby in this. Kirby's just yeah, better. Usually I made Kirby. If I, if I do anything competitive, I do it with Kirby, even though it's a horrible, horrible competitive uh, oh, fighter. Oh wait! When yes. I'm when I'm in competitions, I pick the weirdest character. I always main as Bowser. <laughs> I always main as Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Hello, Ben. Hello, this game guys. is the I'm reason Ken. you got your own game. Meta Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I made his Meta Knight, guys. <laughs> Hello, Pit. You got your own game because of this. Yep. Finally. I wonder how much money this uh this like live HBO fight would cost. <laughs> well, enough that it, Taboo wanted paid, to destroy every bit of it. He paid five thousand Wii points to get this. <laughs> And one thing I noticed, these cutscenes are rendered as motion JPEG, so they're pre-rendered, yet they're all using the in-game models. So does it render it before doing it somewhere? No, it's just a pre-rendered cutscene. Huh. Huh. Yeah. And yet they're using the Well, the, the in-game game models, models look good enough. They do. Yeah, Except for are. those. Those don't look so. <laughs> One one thing that uh Sakurai has uh I said no more brain scratch references, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> one thing this that made Sakurai's job a lot easier is all the Nintendo characters are mainly cartoon characters. Except so they didn't for really have to make anything realistic. I mean look at Kirby. Look at Snake next to Kirby. <laughs> yeah, Kirby, really Kirby is a pink circle. <laughs> He's a pink circle. I just love that, like that the sur the surrealness of that scene in uh, in the Halberd when you get Lucario and Meta Knight next to Snake. Shh, no spoilers. Fuck you. <laughs> and now I'm playing as Mario because through the through the majority of this I try to play as every character at least once. Yet when I'm on the Halberd I forget to pick Peach. Are you gonna play as Ganondorf? Maybe. In the taboo fight, are you gonna play as Ganondorf? Oh fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing you as do? I'm playing as you know who there that saves the day because Sega. Get indoors. <laughs> but no, uh, what, well, seriously, besides Mega Man and Geno, obviously, what characters would you like to, would you like to see in this game? Um, I really I don't, don't know. There's I'd like to see Shadow and Metal Sonic. I would like to see Metal Sonic, that'd be a good... Eggman would be more interesting, though, just out of the curiosity of what his moveset would be. And yes, I died because I fail at life. I don't know how you'd make a Eggman character, that'd be... Yeah, especially, like, what kind of moveset would you use for him? I died in this battle because I fail at life. Well, with a Mega Man character, I guess they could do it kind of like Kirby, where, uh, whenever you kill someone, you acquire their, uh... That, their, their B power, mm -hmm. I guess. What? Yeah. How the hell did that work for Eggman? No, but, but you've no, for Mega Man. For uh, you can... oh Mega Man, I thought yeah, you were, I thought we were still on Eggman here. I was like, what? <clears throat> and you could like switch between the different special abilities and like uh, using a button, like one of the like uh, his up top button, like switches between them or something like that. It, it was here that I realized that I can't inhale pre, pre meds. <laughs> Oh god. Primates are you really bad, aren't you then? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't played subspace in like 
I, I only played Subspace once when I first got the game four years ago. Oh look, here's ROB. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, the ambassador. Ancient minister. Oh boy, who yeah, wants to uh, play Gyromiter Stack Up? <laughs> oh look, ROB. I mean, uh, uh the ancient uh, minister. Uh, ancient he doesn't minister. want to play yeah. Gyromiter Back Stack up. up. He just wants to Come bomb on, the shit you out. You can make it there and. He doesn't want to play Jack Reminder Stack Up, he just wants to bomb the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, hello, He's getting, revenge. He's getting wanna... revenge for being such a useless peripheral. Oh, hello, Super Mario Sunshine. When did you get here? About uh, two seconds ago. It was quite a long drive. <laughs> I had to go through the portal and do all this stuff. Uh... Oh, boy. So, uh, Portal 2 characters then? <laughs> portal 2 characters? Uh, suddenly I'm having the mental image of Petey Piranha using the portal gun to teleport all over the place for some reason. <clears throat> Petey Piranha just in Aperture Science. That would be weird. GLaDOS, I don't know why this GLaDOS is potato this, form as a fighter. GLaDOS inside- GLaDOS in Petey Piranha's body. Oh god. <laughs> So, uh, so Makiti, what characters would you like to see in Brawl in the next in the next Smash Bros. game? Well, I just said, but um, I know Sakurai. Okay, I did it myself there. Anyway, he said that he said that one of the two characters that people most wanted were going to be in there in a tweet, which in reply to a tweet which mentioned um, Isaac from Golden, Isaac, Isaac yeah. from Golden Sun, Mega Man, and Gino, and he said two out of three. So take from that what you will. Yeah. So Isaac, Gino, and who else? Mega Man. Mega Man. Two out of three of them are going to be in it. I'm betting on. I'm betting on Mega Man and uh, Isaac from Isaac. Golden Sun. No, I know uh, Final Fantasy games are still on the um, on the Wii and such, but I don't think Square likes Nintendo enough yet to allow them to use Gino. Cloud would be interesting. Oh hell! Well, that would be he, yeah. I think he. I don't really think that would be interesting. He'd be. He's like Shadow in the sense he's the most hacked into death character in Brawl, for as far as mods go. And I think if he was included, unless you've been hiding under a rock for since 2008 and haven't been part of the hacking community, you're really not going to get anything new out of it. Well, besides like uh, a move set that's actually made for him. Well, you can make custom move sets. Shadow oh. has a custom move set. He actually has many custom move sets, depending on how broken people want him to be. But no, I um, Cloud would be good because Final Fantasy is a big part of uh, the history for uh, Nintendo. So that'd be that. I mean, that'd be important. Um, like how Nintendo fucked them over back in the nineties. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> I'd like to see Brawl. I keep saying that. I'd like to see Smash Bros. expanded into more things than just Nintendo characters, though. They started doing that with this one, so... I wouldn't mind seeing uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale mixed in with the next Smash Bros. That would be I'm, interesting. That, that's it's not going to happen, though. It wouldn't it's, happen, but you have to admit it would be interesting, because that it would game... Be, it would be really cool to see some of the Sony exclusive characters get in there, yeah, but... Battle Royale was probably like it's like a brawl modder's dream come true because everything we've ever wanted hacked into brawl has just been made for us by Sony. Is Snake in Royale? Yeah. I don't know if Snake's in Royale, but I know Sweet Tooth. I don't think is. he is. Sweet Tooth is, and that's is awesome. Sonic? Sweet. What do you say? Is Sonic in Royale? No. No. Well, okay. I, five. Twenty bucks. We're not gonna see Snake in the next Smash Bros. game, then, because you know how you know how petty Sony is. Well, I'm pretty sure Snake will remain just because of how much people like him. I'm pretty sure the same will said will could be said for Sonic. And this is where I realized that Pit's up B move is absolutely useless. No, I really don't like Pit. What what tier is he in? He's like a. I don't know. Not the, very. I don't know the tier not, system. It's not a, not a very high tier, is he? I don't even know the tier system. I just know that Meta Knight is god tier. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's an S tier. Meta Knight there's... is the only person in the S tier. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, so they're going by we, the we Sonic ranking system. We just renamed the Meta Knight tier. They're just going by the Sonic ra ranking system now. Okay. Yeah. Sonic is uh, Sonic's in uh, in A tier, I think. Lies. Sonic is in no, S tier. No, I'm pretty sure he's he in gets the, like, S rank. Low. No, um, I know Ice Climbers are really bad if you're not really good at them. So they're, I think they're they're seventeenth in the tiers. Ice Climbers is my favorite character though, right next to Kirby. I never really play as Ice Climbers a lot. Hello, Halbert. You make no sense being here. I didn't like to jerk. <laughs> uh, and now we get to the part where I begin to fail miserably. So I guess you're not very good at fighters then, right? Beat em ups. Not for well, not I, I've been out of practice for a while. The last time I played Crawl was at the Christmas tournament. And yeah. In order to get to stay good at it, you have to keep playing it. And, and here's your obligatory, other, obligatory elevator. Level. Other other than that, oh, I don't. Yeah. I really don't play as anyone other than Kirby, Meta Knight, or Bowser. So this is al almost completely new to me. You play then, as Bowser? Yes, he's my main. And this is where I realized that. that. This is what I re where I realized that hits up B move is absolutely useless as an attack. Slightly. Every time I press the I I, I, tr I always reflexively try to use the up B as an attack, and then while I'm in that maneuver, I'm completely unable to perform any other attacks because it's just stupid like that. Yeah, so Z man, what what characters would you like to see in the next brawl or in the next Smash Bros? God, I can do it. I really don't know. There's, they've got quite a bunch. Well, well of Gino and Mega Most Man, of the characters that I'd want to see are from Sonic, though. Like, like uh, Metal Sonic and Shadow, of course. And well, I think I, I wouldn't mind seeing if if it were other Sonic characters. If it were at all possible to do, I wouldn't mind seeing Ridley or King K. Rule playable. Ridley would be fantastic. I was just gonna say that, but he King K. Rool big. maybe. King K. Rule would work because he's at least the same size as DDD and Bowser. But I don't think Ridley would work just because. Well, you'll see he's half about halfway through subspace that he's almost as big as any given stage. Scale him down, just like he did with <laughs> every other character. But, uh, um, you can't really scale think... down Ridley without it looking completely ridiculous, and I hate these things so much. You would think that you wouldn't get hit, but their hitbox is just so well, broken. Well, um, the Ridley in this game is meta Ridley. He's, it's not the standard Ridley. No, 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 they're both. Oh, whatever. You fight Ridley first in the, um, on the floating island, and then when you're escaping in Captain Falcon's awesome ship of invincible awesomeness, that's when you fight meta Ridley. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler. Like there's like there's any story in this game. Hello, Mario. Give me my hey, own we game. Found him. Give me my own game, and maybe I will wake you up. <laughs> game. Hey, Mari Great Mario. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mario keeps his promises. Uh, yep. All right, and I think. Of course, they've I already basically said they're not going to give Pit another game after this. Oh. <laughs> So why would, you, was just why like, would uh, you even reboot? Yep, I don't want to do it again. Why you want to know what he said? Sakurai said he's gonna have he's gonna wait another twenty five years and just wait for someone else to make it the next twenty five years. Every time somebody yeah, makes this, every time somebody insults Sakurai about brawl, he delays another kid Icarus by twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, why would you even reboot a series if you're only gonna make one game? And it was a good uh, game, too. Why wouldn't you try to build off that? It was fantastic. Oh, ah, dumbass moment! Dumbass moment! Wee! Oh. I, I like the crafting, job. too. Crafting was good. Dumbass moment for the win, and now I'm pit again. Fuck. <laughs> we just got off this character. <laughs> I almost did it again, too. Yeah, oh, God. Um, maybe, maybe we'll play some, uh... Some, uh... Some, some, uh, yeah, some Final Destination with no items and, uh, two sock. What? <laughs> oh, God, I hate the enemies in subspace. Aside from just being weird and insane and not playing the environment at all, 
they're just they're they're kind of broken sometimes. They can be. Why really do they not just include really enemies really from? Oh, I don't know the games in the thing. Well, I, there are a lot of Kid Icarus enemies apparently. I haven't seen them yet. Well, aren't those eye fish things Kid Icarus yeah, enemies? Yeah, they are. Yeah. I I only know from Uprising. <laughs> uh, I think they were in Uprising too. They were. They were. Yeah, yeah that's Ah, right. oh, auto-scrolling. We all know how much we love those. Especially in our fighting games. Oh, yes. Oh, this, this, yeah. is giving me this is giving me nightmares of uh, Melee's adventure mode where you have to escape from Brinstar. Oh, please. Fuck Brinstar. That wasn't even auto-scrolling. You want an experience with auto-scrolling, go play, um... Uh, nice Rumble, climber level. Rumble Falls. Uh. Uh, or the Ice Climbers level. I didn't mind the Ice Climbers level, but only because that one was actually at a decent speed, and there weren't a lot of obstacles that would knock you into the pit below. In the Ice Climbers, <laughs> in the Ice Climbers level, you could hit pretty much anything that would get in your way. In Rumble Falls, there are spikes that will send you ricocheting into death. You could you could say that levels. You, you could say the Ice Climbers' physics are pretty slippery. Oh, for the love of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, he'll be Slap early. you through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for some reason, I can't move forward here, even though it's plainly visible that there is nothing in my way preventing me from doing so. You could say the enemies in the cloud area in this game are a little floaty. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love my finish here. Um, I go through the door just as the music finishes its loop. <laughs> you fail! <laughs> go, Fox. Go! <laughs> just what we needed. The first level. person to say do a barrel roll gets kicked out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you the first person. Get out. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's how that works. Sea of Clouds, that's the name of this level. Aww. Peach and Kirby on the Warp Star. Hooray! God, Peach Fan is giving... fiction writers away! Peach has given Kirby more than she's ever given Mario. <laughs> there, someone needs Damn. to make someone needs to make a fan fiction shipping Kirby and Peach. Hooray! There are. Pointless level is pointless. There are. You know there are. I don't <laughs> even have hasn't. to look it up. I'd already know there are. Pointless level is pointless. There, there's a uh, there's Samus and Kirby uh, shipping because of Brawl. Yeah. Insane. Now see, I, I wish you could just fight the main cannon. Why couldn't that have been a boss? Like from we a... gotta cut to this awesome scene where Star Fox is awesome. The main cannon could have been a boss. And still gets killed. Of, the main cannon could have been a boss instead of the stupid thing that was a boss on the halberd. But no, that would have made sense. That would have involved doing something that wasn't stupid. The halberd's definitely the coolest thing in this game, though. I love, the, I love the ending. I'm not gonna spoil it. The ending of the halberd. Yeah, uh, that is. So that's, cool. that, that, that's not Kirby Cannon, right? When that thing gets destroyed. Um, I don't know. Because I remember in Cannon, the halberd was lost in Superstar, and then it was reclaimed in Squeak Squad. It was. I don't remember the halberd in Squeak Squad. At the very end of Squeak Squad, it was reclaimed from the bottom of the sea. I don't remember that. And I played all the way through Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad was alright. Yeah. Level design was a fantastic. I, like I love the ghost like power-up, but I want to see Return. I personally like Return to Dreamland more, and the ghost power-up is fucking useless. What are you talking about? It's cool. You don't want to play as enemies? It's cool, but it's absolutely useless. I don't know. It's cool. Oh, God. I hate these things. Sometimes they'll just... Sometimes they'll throw out food, and sometimes they'll just be little bitches and throw out okay, things that Okay, those are not kidding reasons. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, they are. No, they are. Yes, they are. Those look like they were in uh, Uprising. Those yeah, look I... like the things, at least. Yeah. They're, they're, they're 
Those are flying goldfish. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well. You, you've been playing too much LSD, haven't you? Oh, shut up. <laughs> God, those things are so creepy. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen creepy until you see the tentacled Spartan things in the in the um, uh, the fire emblem area, or until you watch uh, our uh, LSD let's play. Uh, no, shameless. Go no, watch it now. Pause the video. Sub and promotion. Pause, pause this let's play and watch it now. Go watch something a little more interesting. <laughs> You know what, let's just cut this part of the Let's Play out and just play the LSD Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, this Let's Play's over, go watch LSD now. I mean, how do you Let's Play this? It's just so boring. Well, it, 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 it helps that I haven't actually played it at all in two years, at least. I mean, it's like it wasn't just the exact same enemy all the freaking, uh, exact same enemies all the freaking time. Well, I, it'd be nice if they did some throwbacks and didn't just do enemies from Mario. Well, again, like, it, hel it helps that I haven't played this in two years or more. Like, uh, I'd like to see some Metroid em enemies. That would have been nice. Well, don't we get those later? Uh, I don't think so. We get so. Ridley, that doesn't count. We get Ridley, and in the Metroid Zero Mission-like level, spoilers, we just get Robs. And who doesn't like beating the fuck out of Rob? <laughs> I love getting at that part though, where we figure, where we figure out, um, where we figure out that the ambassador is actually right. No, I mean, that's uh, the that wrong part. Who he's the, the, Stop the talking. Minister? That's it's the wrong Rob. part. I meant the part where we get in with Samus and Pikachu. God. Because Samus and Pikachu teaming up makes perfect sense. They're both they're both kind of electrical. Oh god. Kind of. <laughs> they both have. Electric personality. Uh, um, I knew that was coming. Fish they could have been worse out of you not team up with the trainer. <laughs> that would have just been too easy. Did Lucas have to team up with the with one trainer? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I guess none of the team ups in this really make a lot of sense. They don't make any sense whatsoever. The only team up that makes sense is Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Kirby and Mario make sense because soccer. I made this game, and he wanted to partner his his character with the other most. I did really the that, other that was really character. stupid. That was really stupid of me back there, but it got me up here, I guess. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> Star power for the win. Ever wonder why Kirby is a main character in the subsequent emissary? Soccer <laughs> If, if, if another developer made this, I don't even know if Kirby would be in, like, most of it. Because Kirby's not a main... Is Kirby Kirby's a main not developer? A guy you Kirby, is it, Kirby is a second-party title. It's made by HAL Laboratories. Is yeah. Kirby... Is Kirby, like, a main Nintendo franchise? Well, yes. It's he's become been in a there main Nintendo franchise, yeah. At the, very least, not... he's, at the very least, he's considered a Nintendo All-Star by the uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. series, but... He's, as far as uh, the series goes, he's a second-party series like Metroid. Metroid what? Metroid, or at least Metroid Prime, is a second-party series. Y yeah, Metroid is not a second-party series, though. And I love Metroid how I just knock this guy Metroid. off screen. If you ever say that again, you will get hurt. <laughs> oh, shut up. Anyway, that was the first part of Subspace. We'll see you in part two.